One winter's night, when the cold wind blew, the engines found it hard to sleep. I am tired of all this blustery wind, guys. It takes ages to wait for it to stop. Well, what can we do while we wait? Any ideas? Uh, uh, I got nothing. Well, what we need is to listen to a story. Yeah, a mysterious story. Great idea, but it must have a happy ending. I know a story you guys might like. Oh, what is it, Thomas? It's about me, Percy, Toby, and James. Is uh, Edward in the story too, Thomas? Yes, James, he is. Oh, joy! I always wanted to be part of this story. You always wanted to, indeed. So everyone listen. It all takes place not long ago here at Edmuth Sheds. Lovely night. Uh, James, you know that we don't have dates, right? Oh, well, yeah. Hey, here's Thomas. Good evening, Percy, Toby, James, and Edward. Evening, Thomas. Hey, guys, look at this. Oh, what is it, Thomas? It's a special storybook of all four stories in it. What are the stories? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Peter Pan, Dumbo, and Alice in Wonderland. Wow! That's exciting! We should hear a story from that book! I would love to hear a story. Me too! Well, who will tell the stories to us? Who said that? Oh! Who are you? Cricket's the name. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. Oh, hello, Jiminy. I'm Thomas. I'm James. I'm Percy. I'm Toby. And I'm Edward. <laughs> like me to read you a story? Yes, please, Jiminy. <clears throat> On a dark and rainy night a long, long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, in a quaint little cottage, deep within a beautiful enchanted forest, there lived a... Uh, Jiminy? Psst! Jiminy Cricket, wake up! Oh, uh, <laughs> pardon me. It's just that I've been reading these stories for so many years that... Say, I have an idea. What's he doing? I'll pick out each of the happy ending pages, then you can guess which story to put them back into. <laughs> sort of like a game. Well, that was swell. Oh, I found the first happy ending. Ah, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now there's a happy ending for you. Snow White and the Prince live happily ever after. What happens in this one? In the happy ending to Dumbo, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is finally reunited with his mother, Mrs. Jumbo. What happens in this ending, Chimney? In this happy ending, Alice travels to Wonderland, but makes it back home, and without losing her head. What happens in the last happy ending? In the happy ending to Peter Pan, Captain Hook is chased off by Tick-Tock the Crocodile. Peter lives on as feisty as ever, and he never ever has to grow up. That's all four endings from all four stories? Yeah. Okay, then, then let's put the pinches back in the... What?
was that? I don't know. Whatever that was, I think Thomas might take that thing back to the store. You're probably right, Toby. Maybe I should. At least until someone can shimmel a little light in this situation. Like who? What the fenders and funnels is that? Well, as I live and breathe, the Blue Fairy. Ooh. Sir Jiminy, you are an official conscience, entrusted with the duty of helping others choose between right and wrong. Did you do something wrong tonight? No! Uh... But, you mean... Well, I mean, I did tear out these pages, but I was just trying to... I, I, I mean, it's, it's just a book. He didn't mean to. Jiminy, once a story is read, it becomes alive in the imagination of the person who heard the story. By removing the happy endings, the heroes were left in peril, and the villains put in control. Huh, some conscience I turned out to be. Do you want us to help Jiminy put the pages back? No, no. The villains have already started to change the stories. You are going to have to travel into the stories to fix them. I can do that, m'lady. Uh, I hope. Uh, yeah. We can do that. Wow. Can you believe that? A blue fairy at our sheds. We'll have everything we need. We will? Yes. If you just believe. Believe in what you imagine. Hear the melodies playing. There's no time to waste. There is so much to celebrate Believe in what you imagine in your imagination And give your dreams the wings to fly We'll have everything we need If we just believe Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Groban! Beyonce, nice. But one by one we all had to grow up. When it seems the magic slipped away, we find it all again on Christmas Day. Believe in what your heart is saying. Hear the melody. No time to waste. There's so much to celebrate. Believe in what you feel inside and give your dreams the wings to fly. You have everything you need if you just believe. Trains move quick. No 
time to waste There's so much to celebrate Believe in what you feel inside And give your dreams the wings to fly You have everything you need If you just believe If you just believe Just believe If you just believe Just believe How about that, viewers? Josh Groban in our flashback. We know children. Hello there! Oh! Ah! Hello! Who are you? I'm out, and you're out too! No, I'm not! My name is Ian! How could you forget that? I live right next door oh, to you! Don't start! I meant here are out! Well, uh, it's interesting to meet you! I'm Thomas, and these are my friends! James, Percy, Toby, and Edward! Probably want to go in. Inside the stories, that is. Uh, yes. Yes, we do. Now, why would you want to do that? Haven't you heard all of the villains have taken over? Well, perhaps I can help. What do you mean? Help the villains? No, no. Helping the villains would be wrong. Villains must do what's right and help the storybook heroes. Oh, yeah. But before we let you enter, we must make sure that you know what the heroes look like. Oh, if I can just remember them all. Well, there's the prince from Snow White. Oh, oh, and Peter Pan. I wish I can fly just like him. Alice from Alice in Wonderland? And Dumbo? And Timothy Mouse? Timothy Mouse? You thought Timothy Mouse is the hero? Well, yeah. Hmm, just checking. Anyone else? Oh yeah, the seven dwarfs. Dog, grumpy, happy, bashful, sneezy, sleepy, and dopey. Whoa, Toby, you know those dwarfs. Yes. Yes, I do. Tick-tock, the crocodile, and the white rabbit. That's it. We know what the heroes are just proven that they know what all of the storybook heroes look like and they're ready to enter. We'll swing open and let you go in. But I don't want to go. I meant them. Ooh, well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the door today. Thanks, Jiminy. Let's go, guys. This is gonna be some adventure. Well, this looks like the first story we're in. Where are we? Hey! This must be the big tent of the circus! That's right, Percy! We're in Dumbo! Villains and villainesses! Please give a nasty cold welcome to Dumbo the Falling Elephant! A falling elephant? Any good. That's just what happens when a bunch of clowns take over, Percy. Who's that big elephant, Thomas? That must be Mrs. Jumbo. Hello, Mrs. Jumbo. My name's Thomas. These are my friends, Edward, James, Percy, and Toby. I'm pleased to know you, Mrs. Jumbo. Why the long trunk? Because tonight the audience is filled with villains who just laugh at the most dreadful things. And worst of all, Dumbo can't fly anymore. 
But the clowns keep forcing him to do his high dive act, just so they can keep the audience entertained. Don't you worry, Mrs. Jumbo. Me and my friends are good actors, so we'll find a way to save Dumbo. Yeah, but we're just gonna need you to give us a lift first. I never thought there should be this many people to see Dumbo. Trembling tracks! Well, I'll be. How are we gonna save Dumbo? I have an idea. Tommy, Edward, you two set up a perpetual motion machine to allow Dumbo to escape. Unless if you want Thomas and Percy to help you. Good thinking! And what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to just watch the whole thing and see how you guys get it right. With this plan of mine, this will work out just fine. You're a wise guy, Mr. James. <laughs> You really are a genius! You're as clever as little kids who watch Blue's Clues, Mr. James! You're a bottle of ketchup and a can of Coca-Cola! Just face the music, you're Mr. Smart, Mr. James, oh yeah! Your boiler is as bright as the sun! Her tender is tiny as she's so small no one can fit in their feet! Mr. James! No one can beat your record until about 1.0 seconds! I said tell the cannon until it's over the ring of fire, not the lion! STAY FOCUSED! Even if you ask an engine who's the best on Sodor... There's no denying... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think the arrow on the fire hydrant should be pointing straight up. You're a vain one, Mr. James. You have no termites in your grins. You may be really splendid, but really useful too, Mr. James. Given the choice between you, I take the Sodor race car. <laughs> now let's try it. And I'm in too soon for this! Well, we must be doing something right. I'll say! Dumbo can fly again! We must get back to the storybook and make sure that he finds Mrs. Jumbo.
Oh, that's sweet. There's nothing stronger than a bond between a mom and a kid. You said... What's next, Thomas? Let's see. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's our next story. Here we are. We're at the Briar Bush. <laughs> Well, that's just great. How are we going to get through this? Sis, got to scrunch those thorns so we can get through. James? Oh, no. No, 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 no. You guys are not getting me to do this. You can do it, James. Yeah, we believe in you. <sighs> All right. I'll do my best. Oh. I woke up this morning and the world was black I hadn't seen the sun since the sky grew dark The tracks were surrounded by prickles and thorns Not to mention they blocked our way through them Got these thorns on me And they're scratching my boiler Got these thorns on me It really had to hurt Got these thorns on me Do it hear my song so say being really splendid is morally wrong. Oh. As long as I've been here, I got nothing to do. I try to get away, but it's no use at all. I want to be brave, but I just don't know how. But all I can do is cry for my mom. Got these thorns on me. They won't let us through. Got these thorns on me. They won't let me jump. Got these thorns on me, dude. Hear my song. The same being really splendid is morally wrong. They won't let us through or huff and puff. Cause being really splendid is morally wrong. There. Are you guys happy with that? That will do, James. That will do. Cool. Traveling tracks! No one has ever been to such place like this before. Thomas, what is that up ahead? A big apple. A big apple? What is that for? my dungeon. Quick, guys! We have to rescue Snow White before it's too late! We're right behind you, Thomas! Shh. Oh no! Guys, I think we're too late! But my buffers! What could've been us? Catch my cow catchers! That must be the evil queen! Ah, poor Snow White. In my version of the story, there is no prince to save you, and soon the seven dwarfs will be joining you in eternal slumber. <laughs> we'll talk about a no happy ending on this one. When the last grain of sand fall through this hourglass, my next poison apple will be ready. <laughs> What's with that old woman? Such rude for a witch. I don't know. Why don't you see her try poisoning the queen? <laughs> Ah! 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 
James, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I had a bad feeling about it. Come on, that won't give us much time before the old heartless queen comes back. You're right, Thomas. We better get Snow White's true love. There must be a way we can do to set things right. How about this book? A book of potions? This is the Evil Queen's magic spell book. Percy, you're a genius. Tell that to James. He found a cauldron. We can use this to mix the potions with. Good idea. But the Queen uses these potions to do her evil bidding. They on the stream narrow. We can make the potions and make Snow White's prince. And that way, we'll restore the happy ending. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Here's something. To create a blast of wind, make Thunderbolt, a potion for sleep and death? No! <clears throat> Sorry. Here we go. I found it. The potion to create someone's true love. But the Queen has ran out of Blast of Wind, Thunderbolt, and Sleeping Death. In that case, we'll make these potions before we create the True Love Potion. This is one creepy Halloween. Hey, hey, hey! It's Thomas and the Engines! Yeah. You know what we're saying? Yeah. Kinda weird! The evil queen has poisoned Princess Snow White. We don't know how she died, but there was a way of how she did. A princess is good, good. and the evil witch is bad. bad. Kinda freaky for a witch. Tell that to Diesel! We found her cauldron and a shelf full of piles of potions. Yeah. The evil queen uses them to do her evil bidding. But she ran out of blasted wind, thunderbolt, and sleeping yeah. death. But if we use these potions on the shelf to make these potions that the queen used, then we'll use them to make a potion for Snow White's prince. Good thinking! If these trees came to life, that would be creepy. For Halloween, if a black cat sneaks into your house, that would be creepy. On Halloween, it's really weird getting a big beard on some engines like us. If these trees came to life, that would be creepy on Halloween. Screamified, Meg, Young, Soufflet, Moonstock, Mummy Dust, Sting Up, Scorpion, Back Chest, Elixir. These potions make Blast of Wind. Sunstock, Dark of Night, Cactus Juice, Plain Bad Stuff, Blast of Wind, and Carnation Petals make Thunderbolt. Morbius Green, Sting of Scorpion, Dark of Night, Cactus Juice, Thunderbolt, and a Green Apple make a Sleeping Death. If these trees came to life, that would be creepy. For Halloween, if a black cat sneaks into your house, that would be creepy. On Halloween, it's really weird filling a big beard on some engines like us. If these trees came to life, that would be creepy on Halloween. If these trees came to life, that would be creepy. For Halloween, if a black cat sneaks into your house, that would be creepy. On Halloween, it's really weird filling a big beard on some engines like us. If these trees came to life, that would be creepy on Halloween. Do not do this with your family at home. Hit the deck! The evil queen is back! That's no good. Snow White and now one of the seven dwarves are in eternal slumber. I can almost say that. Why, James? Because I had this vision that I put the poison apple in the Queen's aging potion. It took a sip of it. Her breath grew still. A blip on a shield. And then I became the fairest in the world. Gee, that would have been the wrong thing to do. Because if... You use the poison on someone. You're the one being wicked and mean. We still got to save Snow White and the dwarves. That's right, Toby.
I just need to light the match. Then throw it in? That did the trick! Come on, guys! We gotta see the rest of this from the book! Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs ends? Yep, they all live happily ever after. All thanks to us. Hey, let's see what's next in the storybook. Smee, bring me Peter Pan at once. We're going to have a sword fight. But Captain, Peter Pan always wins. Tonight will be different, Smee. Tonight will be different. Uh-oh. Sounds like something rotten is going on in Neverland. Is it okay if I go with you, James? Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, Edward, person. You two are coming with me, too. Stay here, Toby. If Thomas comes out of the book feeling hurt or anything, or even me, Percy or Edward, you take care of one of us. Oh, okay, James, if you say so. I don't know. Just be brave, Percy. We'll be fine for this. <laughs> Bother, it's cold. Look! There's Skull Rock! I'll bet Captain Hook's ship is in there. When we get to that ship and Skull Rock, we better see Peter Pan and make sure he's all right. Captain Hook better not be doing anything horrible to Pan. Otherwise, I'll give him a piece of my mind. a win for me, and you can settle in early this evening and retire. Forever! Retire? Never! Mm, not while I can still hold this blade steady enough to run you through! Oh no! Bam! Go on, pick it up, and use it to run this old codfish through the gizzard! I'll have a sword fight against you, Captain Hook! I've got a taste for cold steel! If you've got a taste for cold steel, then get up here, you scurvy swab! It's on, Hook! Go get that scurvy pirate, Thomas! What do you do with the scurvy pirate? Reindeer ship and drink hot wire it. What do you do with the scurvy pirate? Make them walk the plank. Friend of Peter's is no friend of mine. I'm 
guard! James! What do you do with the scurvy captain? Raise his ship and then hotwire him. What do you do with the scurvy captain? Drive him off the plank. I'll raid his scurvy pirate ship and make him walk the plank. We'll save the boy who refused to grow up and restore the happy ending. Look alive, you blithering bloom rat! That's blithering red rat to you! There's nowhere to run! Oh, there better not be! Things were finally turning in my favor, and then you had to show up. You need to find yourself a different life, mate. What do you do with the scurvy captain? Strike him on a test with a sword? No! What do you do with the scurvy captain? I drive him off the plank. <laughs> Well done, James! Thank you, Edward! Can I please go back to Tim Sheds? I better make sure Tom's is alright, and then see what Captain Hulk gets from him. Of course, Percy. Hey, guys! Thomas! You're okay! Of course, Percy. And look! Thanks for setting things right. And if you ever need to find me, I'm in the book. Thank you, Peter Pan. Well, this is it, guys. Just one more story to go. What's our last story? Well, let me check. Well, what do you know? Our last story must be Alice in Wonderland. Oh, that's my favorite story! Alice has been in a lot of strange adventures. And she always manages to keep her head. That's right! Would something happen to Alice? If things have changed like this? Alice can defeat the Queen herself! Can she? By order of the Queen, we have orders to be prepared to prepare to remove Alice's head! Yipes! Oh dear!
dear, no. If I go home without my head, my mother will be so very unhappy with me. Who would have thought cinders and ashes? Has this ending really gone to pieces or what? Hurry, come, Alice! Sonor engines to the rescue! Here we are, Alice! Oh my gosh! Well... <clears throat> Better late than ever. <clears throat> Hello, Alice. I'm Percy. These are my friends, Thomas, Tommy, James, and Edward. Oh, hi. Sorry we ran a little late. Isn't there anything we can do to help you? Oh, of course there is. You can find my body. <sighs> no need to worry about that, Alice. My friends and I have your body right here in front of us. Oh, God! Would you be so kind as to bring it to me? I'm somewhere in a beautiful maze of bushes. Please hurry! Don't worry, Alice. We'll be right there. Whoever knows how long we'll take to find Alice through this maze. Well, can we do this a different way? My way? Your way? There's no way here but the Queen's way! Uh-oh. What do we do, Alice? Just tell us what to do. Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. Leave it to me, Alice. Come on, guys. Alice is waiting for us. Come the back yarn again, Slantage music. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Why, 
there you are. Long time no see. I'm very surprised at you, though, running off like that. And just when I needed you for support. Well, I feel a little consulted. Why not, James? Because it's no wonder why this place was called Wonderland. Why am I not surprised? Come, come, there's no time to waste. We must find the White Rabbit so he can lead us home. Right. Through the hedge maze, through the hedge maze, through the hedge maze, through the hedge maze. We finally reunited Alice's body, but how are we going to get out of here? Perhaps if we follow the white rabbit, we'll be out of here in no time. Sounds like a plan. Here, we'll use this paintbrush. How is this gonna help us? Easy! We'll paint two or three of the colored guards' roses to distract them. Oh! Thought so. Through the hedge trees! Through the hedge trees! Through the hedge trees! Through the hedge trees! We're going round in circles. Clear away that smoke! This smoke must be stopped! Hey, what's out? Quick, Edward, paint the roses! Good one, Edward. Through the hedge trees! Through the hedge trees! Through the hedge maze! We're traveling through the hedge maze! There he be! He disappeared! Down that... tiny door? How are we gonna ever catch that rabbit? And how are we gonna get so small? Here, eat this! <laughs> this looks good! We've shrunk! Well, that was easy! It was very nice of you to save me. And my story. <laughs> there was just nothing, really. That's what friends are for. Please do drop by again. We will! I promise! When we get back to Tim the Shems, guys, I gotta see the action! the dinosaur because he... Never mind, let Thomas guess. I don't know. James? Edward? Uh... Birth! 
Percy, 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 I need a Jiminy Cricket. We fixed all the happy endings. Yeah! Wow, you did it! You actually fixed all of the stories. Now we just have to put these pages back in the book, and we're done. Hey! What? What is it? Who took all of the happy endings? Were they here before? What's happening? It looks like the whole shit is gonna fall down! Quick guys! Out and into the train yard! It's Hawk! Not me. I just took this one. I only took one page as well. Dad. Ready? Aim. Fire! Quick, we have to take cover. Cover? That's it. Quick, Jimmy, give us the magic storybook. Come on, guys. This is our chance to defeat the villains. Really? Thomas. James, you first. Captain Hook! We are the pirates! With the buccaneers! We are trying to jump and watch our pirate ship! And if you ask us, how do we do it? Well, let's tell you, we repel the cannonballs! the fucking years, which is of course those other pirates. And if you ask us where Captain Hook is, we'll just tell you he's on the chap, alright? But not anymore! He has retreated the Skull Rock! Curse the Scurvy Captain! We are the Pirates! This way the Bagoneers! That ship is coming at us from Skull Rock! Go to Earth! Double drat! I hate happy endings. Percy, you next! All engines attack! The Queen of Hearts is throwing croquet balls at us! All engines attack! 
The Queen of Hearts is gone broke. Ain't false at all. The Queen of Hearts is the tyrannical and deranged ruler of Wonderland, or at least the plain card populated area of it in which she resides. She is the most dangerous of all the residents of Wonderland. She likes to hear the words, Yes, Your Majesty, and insists, Always are my ways. She has huge mood swings from content to enraged at a moment's notice. Her solution to every problem is a beheading where her roses have been painted white. She misses a shot in Croquet or feels insulted in any way. All engines attack. The Queen of Hearts is throwing Croquet balls at us. All engines attack. The Queen of Hearts is throwing Croquet balls at us. She appears as Alice puts and as a fat, pompous, fat, tempered old tyrant, her presence is all the more striking because of how tiny her husband is, made to look in comparison to her. After Alice meets the three cards, paint the roses red since they planned the white roses by mistake, she arrives and orders those three cards beheaded, then challenges Alice to a game of crow cat. The game is eventually spoiled by the treasure cat. The queen blames Alice for it, but before she can give the order, the king suggests holding a trial. All engines attack. The queen of hearts is throwing croquet balls at us. All engines attack. The queen of hearts is throwing croquet balls at us. The queen calls the March Hare, the Mad Hatter, and the Dormouse to witness, who hold an unbirthday party for her. During the party, the Cheshire Cat reappears and upsets the Dormouse. The Cheshire Cat runs all over and attempts to crush the mouse. The King of Hearts manages to hit the Queen with the gavel. The Queen, of course, blames Alice for it and is going to have her beheaded. But Alice eats, eats mushrooms she had procured earlier, which made her grow bigger. Although rule number 42 says anyone more than a mile high must leave the court immediately. Alice feels free to call the queen a fat, pompous, bent, tempered old tyrant. Unfortunately, she subsequently shrinks down to her normal size, but flees and is able to escape. All engines attack. The queen of hearts is throwing croquet balls at us. All engines attack. The Queen of Hearts is gone broke and falls at all engines attack. The Queen of Hearts is throwing croquet balls at us. All engines attack. The Queen of Hearts is gone broke and falls at us. You next! There's something strange about the Ringmaster. He asks the clowns if they throw custard eyes and ends. He walks in the mirror, but his face was red. His eyebrows were scrunched down, and he's still grinning. His hat is tan blue with the dark blue strap around it. The clowns are on the side now! What are we gonna do? The Ringmaster's a bad boss. He's looking at us like we're his tonight. The ringmaster's a bad boss. Gonna need some serious faces and goss paint to keep us alive. A best mustachioid, half bald black hair, yellow pants with suspenders, black boots, shirt front with blue bow tie, red jacket, yellow opera gloves, bowl whip. When some mean kids start to make fun of Dumbo's big ears, this is Jumbo. Dumbo's mother starts attacking them to protect their baby. However, the ringmaster, not knowing that he was incited, tries to stop her, only to be splashed in Dumbo's barrel where he takes a bath in. Furious, the ringmaster has Mrs. Jumbo locked up in a cage. Seeing no other use for him, 
He beams Dumbo up at the clowns to give him a roll without causing any disastrous. Get me off that bad boss! The Green Master's a bad boss. He's looking at us like we're his tonight. The Ring Master's a bad boss Gonna need some serious faces and boss paint to keep us alive The Ring Master's a bad boss He's looking at us like we're his tonight the Ring Master's a bad boss Gonna need some serious faces and boss paint to keep us alive The Ring Master's a bad boss The Bitly Tank will be destroyed for good The Ring Master's a bad boss One of these days He'll be torn up like a piece of paper the bell and inward your last who doesn't like red apples the evil queen doesn't like red apples who doesn't like red apples i like red apples not green or yellow it's the po matching a fruit of the apple tree i don't know how anyone says no to red apples with some escargot. Apple haters, they must be out of their mind. Apple haters, I know it's just not right. Apple haters, it's nothing less than evil. Not liking apples should be illegal. Who doesn't like red apples? Who doesn't like red apples? Red apple ice cream is what I like. Scallop apples, peanut butter from rye. It's a fruit group. All onto itself. No one wants to eat anything else. Apple haters, they must be out of their minds. Apple haters, I know it's just not right. Apple haters, it's nothing less than evil. Not fucking apples should be illegal. Who doesn't like red apples? Who doesn't like red apples? I, I don't understand. The evil queen must be stopped! I think that's sad. Apples unwanted! Let me hear the apple lovers everywhere! Scream it out, put your hands up in the air! Deep fried anytime, every way is how you might like! We'll give them to you day and night! Who doesn't like red apples? 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 I like them baked, filled with whipped cream, apple pan taste with pork and beans. I don't know how anyone can say a bad word, like who doesn't like red apples for dessert? Apple haters, they must be out of their mind. Apple haters, I know it's just not right. Apple haters. It's nothing less than evil. Not fucking apples should be illegal. Who doesn't like red apples? 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 I mean it. <laughs> Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Oh, my aching pistons! Is it over? I think it is. We did it! We did it! All the guns are defeated! Huh. Looks like we put all of the happy endings back. Yeah, we even put all of the happy endings back. And then some. Yes, that new story is the story of Villain's Night Out. It tells of a cricket who redeems himself. 
who save the heroes of the storybook and become the greatest storybook heroes ever. No wonder I have a feeling about this. Remember, you've saved all the heroes and their endings too. Now you can play in their worlds, many or few. Tonight, your imagination has grown, so I grant you a surprise for the toys that you own. the greatest storybook heroes ever, are we? Yes. Yes, we are. So me, Percy, James, Toby, and Edward all had to agree that we really are the greatest storybook heroes ever. And for the first time ever, it's just exactly the way we like to be. Just when we visit our friends for next time they need us. And that, there you have it, guys, is the whole story. Did you all like it? Yes, Percy, we sure did. Of course, Percy, we sure did. Absolutely, Thomas. Especially the happy ending. That story was wonderful. Yes. Yes, it is. And soon, they were all asleep, too.